war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good for sure. Looks like the milk got delivered. New Coca-Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A+. Plus. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Probably that salesman. Good morning. 
Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything.